find this question extraordinary. Objective diagnosis is the absolute foundation of sensible decision making in a clinical context. Get that diagnosis properly in place, and then you can be rational as you proceed with treatment choice. It's often said the cornerstone of medicine is accurate diagnosis, and accurate diagnosis is needed to optimally treat our patients. And of course, functional urology is no exception to that. Urodynamics allows us to objectively and fully characterize the lower unit tract dysfunction and identify the root cause of the symptoms the patients present with. So for me, this has two key benefits. One, it directly directs management. And secondly, it allows us to work out a potential uh, or probability of success for the various treatment options and allows patients to fully be informed uh, when they're making these treatment choices. Of course, there are certain fields in functional urology where we safely apply empirical treatments without reaching the objective diagnosis, for example, in the case of overactive bladder syndrome. For example, conservative management with lifestyle changes, dietary modification, pelvic floor muscle training, or even oral medical treatment can be applied empirically. However, when we plan an irreversible treatment, empiric decision-making will not be enough. To my understanding, it is bad medicine. I don't think that functional urology may be considered differently from general medicine, actually. Uh, we want to understand the, the situation in, uh, in our patients and then treat uh, the situation consequently. And urodynamics, it's, it's not a black box where you put it in and the diagnosis comes out. But I think urodynamics can be very helpful in trying to get a more objective diagnosis for functional urology. We should not forget that a large part of the lower urinary tract is actually innervated and controlled by the autonomic nervous system, which does not provide exact information on what is going on. Hence, dysfunctions may occur before symptoms. This particular happens if the dysfunction progresses slowly over months or years, as we often see in patients with uh, prostatic outlet obstruction. Whether it's minimally invasive treatment or even pharmacology, actually, uh, empirically treating patients is really uh, one that's inevitably going to have a much lower uh, efficacy rate and outcome for the patient. Starting treatment, actually, without understanding the underlying problem, is experimental. This is certainly allowed in several situations and sometimes there is no other choice. However, in functional urology, there are very few emergencies requiring immediate, requiring immediate start of the therapy without diagnostics. It's sometimes a little bit surprising that in research we talk so much about a level of evidence, but when it is coming to the um, daily clinical practice and treating patients, we sometimes just tend to, to, to rely on our gut feeling and not uh, on, on, on objective findings. And I think this should uh, change and loner track health should be taken seriously and not regarded as something that can be dealt with quickly in an outpatient or Office to achieve an optimal cost-benefit ratio. When we discuss true value in medicine, it's an equation of high quality and low cost. And there is minimal value for women in failing to appropriately diagnose a pelvic floor disorder, which could result in subsequent invasive treatments, which would not be successful for cure and may actually exacerbate their condition and lead to the need for further interventions. Our guidelines are clear that judicious use of urodynamics is indeed appropriate and should be employed when there is not absolute clarity in the diagnosis prior to any invasive interventions. The optimal approach is really personalized medicine where the diagnostics and the treatments are tailored to fit a patient's condition and desires. If it was you or your family member would you prefer the physician to use all the tools they have available to ensure an appropriate diagnosis before treatment? Or would you like me to proverbially throw things at a wall and see what sticks? We need to expand evidence-based medicine and urodynamics is important to drive these interventions. <laughs>